Welcome to the shooting show. This week we follow Jamie on a rodeo hunt plus a various and we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world.
gehen? Out for a day really, but <clears throat> he just come down there uh, outside of this wood and we saw a fox and he, he'd seen us but uh, he made his way around this boundary wood and uh, we saw him across this stubble field so he used this bale as cover and got into the middle of the field and uh, we managed to shot on him. Uh, I think it was successful so we'll go and have a look in a minute. Sounded, sounded good. Didn't see him run off. Conjunctivitis, something like that, look of it. I think he's got a really bad chest infection now, mate. <coughs> yeah, over that corner. We've been out this morning with Stuart and um, we are after a door really but uh, we got out the vehicle and got ready and uh, went down to a wood and as we entered the a wood we uh, the wood we uh, we could smell a fox we could smell it as we crossed the beck and then as we got out into the stubble field um, we saw the we saw the fox but he'd seen us as well so we proceeded to work our way along the edge of, uh, of the wood. We saw a door, with three doors out in the field. So we were sort of making our way towards them and then we saw the fox again along the other far side of the field. So we used the bale, round bales that were on the stubble as a cover. We got out into the middle of the field and got in with range and managed to take the fox. And then we carried on along back to the edge of wood, along a path in the wood, and uh, we saw a couple of doors. They came out onto arable, but uh, unfortunately we just couldn't get a go at them. We moved location a bit, back to the vehicle, and went back out of the other side of the wood where the vehicle was parked, up over the hill, and there was three doors in the valley and uh, we were where the wind was at the top of hill it was sort of just angling away from them a bit it was going 
towards them, but just angling our way a touch. So we were just hoping we could get on them. But we got so far down, ju dropped over the ridge of the hill, and then it was just swirling back the other way. And unfortunately, they winded us before we could get get a go. But that's how it is, isn't it? Some mornings you're lucky, some mornings you're not. So weather's just closed in a bit now, so it's home for breakfast, I think. Jamie there, finally getting a result in the end, and now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. A new report on Scotland's deer populations has called for higher cull targets and more rural stalking jobs. The report comes ahead of an official Scottish Government commissioned review of deer management, which is due to be published soon. It also calls for an increase in amateur stalking and reduced use of deer fences. Colin Shedden of Bass Scotland said he was broadly supportive of the recommendations, but warned that it takes much in the way of time, dedication and training before an amateur stalker is ready to go into the field. There's a new qualification that fledgling gamekeepers might want to get. The basis certificate in game management is designed to encourage best practice across the sector, while providing qualified individuals with a professional accreditation that demonstrates assurance of high standards of practice. Training courses will be held at the GWCT Allerton Project in Leicestershire, with the first one starting on the 10th of March. For more information, visit the address on screen now. The latest shooting-related controversy has come from an unexpected source. It's the ITV reality show Love Island. Contestant Ollie Williams was subject to online abuse after photos surfaced showing him taking part in overseas hunts. A petition on Change.org to have him removed from the show attracted a number of abusive comments. Basque complained that these breached the site's policies on hate speech, bullying, violence and defamation. Within an hour, the comments section was disabled. And finally, don't forget to have your say in the nation's favourite shooting ground poll. Run by Clay Shooting Magazine, the annual vote selects the most loved ground in the UK, as well as giving out regional and discipline-focused awards and the coveted Best Breakfast Prize. Make sure you've voted before the poll closes at the end of this month. You can vote online using the address on screen now. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. <laughs>